Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install a save editor for your Nintendo Switch. The one that I'm going to be talking about specifically today is going to be JKSV. Now a lot of people use either JKSV or Checkpoint on their Nintendo Switch. Now JKSV is the one that I personally uh, like a lot better. This one is released by JDK. Uh, make sure that uh, whenever you decide to download JKSB, you want to make sure you get the latest build. Now this one was released on 9.1 as of today's date. And you want to go ahead and click on the JKSB.NRO file and you want to go ahead and download that. Now once you've downloaded the JKSB.NRO, you want to make sure that you put in your SD card into your PC and open up the root of your SD card. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and open up the switch folder and then you want to make sure you put the jksb.nro file in the switch folder. Now if you do have an old one, you can go ahead and delete that one off your switch and then you can paste the new one in. Once you do that, all you have to do is put the SD card back into your switch and boot up jksb in the homebrew menu. Now once you open up JKSB, you will see a list of games installed on your Switch. You can head over to any of these titles and click on A to see your save files or you can create a new one. Now in order to create a save file, you just click on the option that says new at the very top. Now this will create a save file with the game at its current state when you last played. Now I'm going to show you guys my Animal Crossing save as an example. Most of these save files were edited using NHSE. Now in order to restore one of these edited files, all you have to do is click on Y to restore. So let's head over to my Nook Shop save file. I'm going to go ahead and click on Y and then I'm going to hold A to restore the save file. Now let's say you load up the save file and boot up your game. Then I played on the save file and progressed in the game. Like for example, before loading up the save file I had 4 villagers on my island. Then I played on it and got up to 6 villagers. Now if I want to save this progress on this same file, um, I have to make sure that I save my game in the game and then I want to head back into JKSV. Now there are two things that you can do now. You can either one, click on the new option to create a brand new save file with the updated progress or two, you can head over to the save file and you can click on A to overwrite it and you can hold down A to overwrite that save file. This will overwrite it with your current progress in the game. Now if you click on Y, it'll just restore the save file to how it was prior with the four villagers. So just be careful on whether you want to either restore or overwrite a save file. Now earlier, when I restored a save file, you saw JKSV create this auto device backup. Now personally, I don't like this as it spams for me every time I want to restore a save file. Now it might be beneficial for newcomers, but if you find this cumbersome, you can turn this option off. Simply all you want to do is you want to head over and to the left and scroll down to settings and you will see an option that says auto backup on restore. Go ahead and click on A to toggle that off and you won't see those auto device saves every time you click on Y to restore. Now if you go through settings you can see that there are some additional options you can also toggle like overclocking, um, if you want to hold to delete, um, you can also check all the other ones, um, use whatever you would like here. That concludes my video for how to use JKSV. If you have any questions, make sure to join my Discord server. It's going to be in the description of this video. And go ahead and head to the basement channels and you will find a section for homebrew support. Thank you guys and have a great day.